here we go. So uh, as requested, I'm going to break down my sentence videos, support videos, into bite-sized um, time segments. So we're going to look at each of the new sentence types um, one at a time. So these should be shorter videos. So let's get straight to it. So first of all, we're looking at the academic sentence pattern. First point here, this formula creates an academic voice. Usually it includes two clauses. Now we remember that each clause has its own uh, subject, noun, and main verb, and they convey a complete idea. So we could say two complete ideas each. Okay, just some notes. Now the key point of the academic sentence is the linking tool that we use to join the two clauses together. So let's, maybe it's a good time to look at the formula because that also includes the uh, linking tool. Okay, so we have clause one, then we use a semicolon, then we have our humtetsuniya family member, whichever word we select, then the comma, C2, and then a period. Now remember, when we talk about the linking tool, the academic linking tool has three parts, and you need all three to be good with me. And those three parts are the semicolon, the semicolon, then the conjunctive adverb, then the comma. Okay, so just moving on now, we'll talk about the Huntatania family members. However, moreover, therefore, thus, nevertheless, in addition, and additionally. Now those words are all called conjunctive adverbs, and they're used specifically in this structure, right? So we can kind of we can go ahead and highlight that formula. Okay, let's do a few examples to demonstrate this pattern. Here we go. First example, the students attacked the homework diligently, semicolon, moreover, comma. So we've got all three of the elements there. That's very crucial. We can just highlight that. And we'll just highlight this up here, making sure everything is kind of aligned. Excellent. Great, let's do another example. Okay, so the scientists discovered that clear cutting emitted more CO2 than fossil fuels. This is from one of the articles that we've been working with in week two. Uh, nevertheless, so again, look at that. We've got our semicolon, never, our, our family member, whom to a family member, and then the comma. Good. Then we move into clause two. The public did not know this crucial fact. So what we're seeing here is this pattern is useful because we're able to join two ideas together, and by using that academic linking tool, we create that elevated voice, that elevated academic voice. One more. A little bit of a simpler one, but again, we're showing 
that indeed we can use this tool even when the clauses are quite simple. Bob outlined the plan, semicolon, however, comma, Billy was not listening. All right, so keep in mind, we use this formula for creating an elevated academic voice. Um, two clauses, the linking tool, we need all of the three pieces to complete the linking tool. And then we can pick uh, which of the uh, conjunctive adverbs is the most appropriate for our, our sentence. And basically, this is an excellent sentence for you to practice. Wonderful.